Okay, so I've brought the, the camera in and I've managed to get um, a USB cable that fits. Just to power it on in here, just to show you quickly, just through the menus and what it looks like, uh, I showed you this just, just peels off really easy from the windscreen and that will go straight back on as well. It's a bit tacky. You can rip that straight off the 3M stick if you wish. Look, see that? All the 3M sticker off there. But obviously you're gonna need a replacement. Click OK to stop recording, it's just recording there. Uh, there we go. Uh, movie, now within movie you can set the uh, resolutions. So Quad HD and Full HD on um, on the rest of the, the cameras. Or you can go down and have all of them outputting 1080p at 30 frames per second. I like to have the best, obviously, option. Loop recordings, uh, rear cam mirror, so you can, yeah, change it if you want a mirror image or not, and you can untick or whatever. And you have playback options, normal video, locked video, pictures. And this is the, the parking setting as well. Make sure that the device is connected to the drop wire. So I'm assuming that's something to do with the, the sort of continuous power for that parking monitor. Set the date and time, Wi-Fi, you can connect wirelessly to it, uh, watermark, storage options, storage format warning, you can format the SD card as well. Went back, storage information. Change language and then system settings. Fatigue reminder, off. You can set it to an hour or something if you if you wish. Uh, speed units, so obviously KMH and MPH. Beep sound, which I turned off. <laughs> uh, screen save, I always have the screen on really, although it can be distracting sometimes. So that, that, that's an option that you can use. Infrared LED automatic, you know, for night mode and stuff. And then you've got time zone, default setting, GPS info. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Really easy to get around. Um, the up and down arrows here, obviously, swap between the the cameras as well. I don't know if the up, the up arrow doesn't. The up arrow doesn't. The up arrow seems to mute the microphone. It goes yellow and not yellow. So that's that. And then power. Turn the thing off. Simple. And power on again, and it starts recording as soon as power hits. Uh, the device stop that recording yeah so that is the the main menu and what you uh, expect to use when you uh, if you do buy this and start using it so and now i'm going to leave you with some more footage from this dash cam and that will be it um there is some nighttime footage in there um i think the overall quality is good i mean you're getting three cameras in here so it's covering all bases if you do have accidents or anything like that uh, or if there's a, a knock it is covering all bases. Um, the quality is good, especially in daytime. In nighttime, the quality is good. You can see what's what's happening, but one of the tests I like to do is when I'm playing the footage back, I'll pause it and see if you can read a number plate. Because a lot of the time, you're gonna go through some footage and say, oh, I need to know the number plate. And I did struggle to find any areas of pausing it to find a clear number plate at, at night. Um, it is 30 FPS, so maybe if perhaps if it was a 60 FPS, there's more frames and more data in there, uh, they might be able to achieve that. But overall, I think the quality is good on here. And just check the footage for yourself and make your own mind up. But um, thank you very much for watching. I'll include links to this in the description below. It's a very, very nice dash cam. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.